the game station, uh, which can be found in Zidno Street 91, K3. And also check out their Facebook page, of course. I am Burploid, the Geek Scout leader. Uh, with me, uh, as always, is the classy player. Hello. Uh, the hipstery <coughs> Mac. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pervert after getting on it. Well, that too. <laughs> He's also that. And joining us uh, for this special, special episode is, of course, our awesome, cool guests. This is Miss Cookies, the Life Twitcher. This is a goat. Hello. And... Bisboni. Hi. He already was on our panel, but he, he had some, some silly experience with us. Yeah, um, <laughs> the best kind of experience. Yep. And basically the whole whole purpose of this uh, episode is more about the uh, afterthoughts of the Unicon. Basically just, just go through what we saw, what we liked, and what we can discuss about it. So, basically to start off, how did you guys like Unicon 2015? This was your first time, so... Get uh, get talking. <laughs> well, the first time, yeah, I didn't kind of. It was great impression actually. I yeah. was uh, really happy about the amount of people that were there, and like I knew about Unicorn before. That is like anime kind of geeky event. Uh, I wanted to attend actually last year, but I couldn't manage my time. So I was really pleasantly surprised that it was more than anime, and yeah. I like the tendencies of these, and like the next year is promising to be. Even, even wider in, in that sense. Bigger, yeah. better, faster. Uh, in terms of like, it's not going to be only about anime because it's kind of blending all this geeky culture together, and I'm loving it actually. I love that something like this is happening in Riga, Latvia. That's Hopefully, cool. yeah. we get like also Lithuania and Estonian also. It yeah. really becomes the Baltic convention, so. I'm really looking forward to next year. Oh, oh just, just yeah. to jump in. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of great, great. Um, Conventions in, in Baltic states, and well, I do have experience attending a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, well, there are a lot of, of events that, that I would really recommend for you to participate, just hang out, mingle, and, and, and get acquainted with some awesome, awesome Lithuanians, Estonians all over the place. Yeah, because a lot of, of Lithuanians did come uni to Unicorn, yeah, and, and they're, they're great guys. Really. Cool. What are the events? <laughs> Well, they're, they're, they're just, just fun, that's all. They're, they're, they're fun, fun to, to hang out with. Okay, yeah. send me to Facebook, send me to Facebook. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, carrying on, go. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Unicorn, because first, first of all, I guess for us, it was a great experience to like, meet all of our kind of viewers, you know? It's, it, it's just weird, you know, because in everyday life, we, when we stream, we never see the faces, we only see the nickname, the text that you write, yeah. and we never see the faces, the smiles, the laughs, and everything so yeah I really liked it and I loved like the community there that everybody felt just like they belong there like they Unified. yeah exactly like they share these kind of the same interests like anime fantasy gaming everything and yeah I, I felt like it's it was a great convention right. yeah no. I cannot wait for next year as well did any any of your big fans actually join you at Unicorn yes. like yeah, come up like oh, this is a big fan please yeah. can I sit did, down you know taking did photos you? like writing those signs like I actually cool. yeah, actually cool. had uh, a few guys as in particular one who, tra who traveled uh, all the way from Croatia whoa <laughs> and also some I was, I was so surprised like and also a girl came by me and she said, I'm such a huge fan. And then I asked her, she gave me a, this drawing, which was absolutely adorable. And, and then she, then I asked her, what is your username? Yeah. And I realized she never even talks in the chat. So it was like, oh, a, it was just a big watching. surprise that there actually are people that kind of just not like, like in like, the literal they, sense. They, yeah, yeah, they, but they never really That's get cool. involved, but I still watch it. It's kind of a mind-blowing experience yeah. because 
we sit and we only have our chat to communicate us so we, yeah. we kind of think that those are the only people that we can have but actually there's so much more to it yeah. so it's like it's kind of cool. now you you realize that like they're not just people in the chat mm -hmm. they're all real people yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly like it's, it's all real this it's kind of a realization a first came when we i think traveled to dreamhack winter which was mm. a massive event like there are tons of gamers and for the first time you see that this is all real this is it's so real, real. Yeah, mm. yeah. it's just crazy mm. well thanks so good morning for your thoughts uh well i i love how the convention has grown yeah through the years i have not attended any others like the previous ones but as i have seen from the pictures and videos see that the audience has grown a lot and everything is just bigger like and more awesome uh, it was a really colorful a convention like a lot of people uh, different kinds of like cosplays and everything and it was awesome that yeah to meet the viewers that we have no idea how they look like and we have like chatted with them for years now and we never like thought of meeting them but now we, we have met and that's pretty amazing yeah that's cool after after that you should think of, of some meetups of your fans or yeah. actually, actually we, we, are. we are doing one after Two what, weeks. Two? 20 20th of August, nice right one. in this place, uh, there's going to be a meetup. Yeah. All three of us <laughs> over here, so little ad advertisement. <laughs> if you guys are from Latvia or if you want to travel to Latvia, Riga, August is still really awesome to get to see Riga, so good reason to come, right? Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's welcome to join us uh, here in the game station, uh, Riga, Latvia. Time. Uh, yeah, it's going to be 2 p.m. Uh, yeah. 20th of August. 23rd? 20th. 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay. <laughs> well, they have a It's a Sunday. Sunday, Sunday yeah. 2 p.m. Oh, okay. Two yeah. weeks. So. I don't well, even know. We should definitely join. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll be having some, we'll be having a meetup, so you just a relaxed atmosphere, so you can talk with us. We'll be playing games over here, including like... Live commentary. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Will we be streaming? No, no, no. no. We're not gonna be streaming, but it, yeah. we're gonna make it like chill and yeah, yeah. just to hang out with us. Of exactly. course, cool. Yeah. Cool. So you mentioned cosplay. That's tough. We could get into. Yeah. So we well, yeah. uh, got some ideas. Uh, 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 Running. Did I was just um, interested in to, to ask you about about the cosplay. We did already add mm -hmm. Boney on that subject on our our live panel, but but you girls. Um, we, I, I enjoy girl cosplay. That's that's <laughs> that's why I'm interested in that. So, did you see any great cosplay that did catch your eye? And second follow-up question would be: Would you like to cosplay uh, in, in in next event or, or maybe uh, maybe in WinterCon this year? Etc. Or maybe you cosplay before? Yeah. yeah. I think they did actually yeah. on their uh, outdoors. <laughs> outdoors train. Yeah, yeah they really did. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of caught Sketchy that moment. Cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> just when they were doing the Chubby Bunny challenge, and <laughs> yeah. it's not a real cosplay, you know. It's just like you go by costume and stuff. Yeah, it's like, more. Mm. It's it's not that like, but but a cosplay as a, as a kind of. Uh, movement is, is fascinating like the people just get these kind of materials and craft one we like one one to one real weapons from the game it's just amazing they spend weeks and months doing that mm -hmm. I don't know if I have will or time to do that myself so I kind of want to cosplay you, myself you could stream it right um, like making the the, the car yeah the just, yeah. just yeah. like the art stream it. yeah, yeah. yeah. You like know, an art yeah I could do that and I'm kind of like, when, I, will, when we talk about cosplays, I love to do chat. kind of like yeah. funny <laughs> cosplays or ridiculous, the cosplays nobody expects. I was doing uh, like, I surprise people. yeah, a few months ago, if you know Bob Ross, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah, because I do, I do, right yeah, yeah, I do, I do right this painting on, on my live streams and people that, yeah. often say like, you are like Bob Ross, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I am, and then so a few you also months go like I'm gonna put a little happy thought. Well, I sometimes <laughs> go in a whispering because you're so concentrated that you're barely oh, okay, speaking. Okay. Like it's kind of the same feeling, but I don't go with the happy trees. The thing is, like a month ago, I cosplayed Bob Ross. <laughs> I actually where did you get it? I actually, afro? I actually an afro? had Wait. an afro, the beard, the mustache. <laughs> I did a makeup. Nice. I reshaped my face and looked like actually <laughs> played as a Bob Ross. So I this is me this. cosplaying. This that was on my live stream. So I'm not really into this kind of like cool cosplay that everybody but that's expects. So yeah, but so just, to be honest, uh, I see a lot, a lot of my friends do 
cosplay for just fun. Yeah. For example, yeah. my, my friend here, um, he always does some, some weird ass cosplay. <laughs> he, nev he never goes on stage, he does it for, for his fun. And he just walks around. Yeah, and he right. walks around. Yeah. Uh, last yeah. year at Unicorn he was, he was uh, Deadpool and he looked really superb for a Deadpool fun <laughs> cosplay. And yet, well, he, he, he had great amount of the fun and everyone did enjoy his looks. Yeah, so, so that's not a problem for just crafting something easy. Yeah. Just just to have fun and, and look look crazy and weird and, and happy on and all also have fun while doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's that's exactly, definitely yeah. crazy and fun. Like yeah. the cosplay I do wanna do is craft a huge cookie, pink cookie, <laughs> <laughs> and walk around. So I just oh, oh, barely like, 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 exactly. And just on, on the, con yeah. 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 On the convention yeah. just roll it in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me cosplaying. That's I am but uh, yeah, all the or respect to cosplayers, it's insane what they or do. Or maybe build a giant prop, like TARDIS size yeah. cooking. Yeah. I'll be following you around yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Like just just yeah. Yeah. It's a On the wheels, so. just like wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, you yeah. don't need wheels for a cookie, it's already round. Yeah, yeah. it's already yeah. a yeah. wheel. Yeah. So, yeah. Go. how about you? Well, I have done cosplays, only two, but those are like mm -hmm. amateur, cheap kind of level cosplays because I just bought the costume and that's it. Oh, okay. um, I really, really enjoyed it because I love kind of the thought, the thing that you can kind of turn into this other person, other creature, yeah. other, you know, character from any game, else. movie, yeah. anime, a anything. And yes, at Unicon I saw so many professional cosplays. I think all of the cosplays were like so professional and you can see that they did them on their own with their hands, like crafted them. And I, I don't know why, but I never understand how do they make them, like from what material, like the, those coarse sets I'll, I'll, and everything. I'll, I will explain you, but but not for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just ask. Yeah, you know. exactly. Like so, I recently found out, it's really cool. So it's you mentioned anyone. that you like bought some cosplays. Yes. Who did you turn into? Uh, the first one was Red Card Katarina from oh. League of Legends. Yeah. Exactly. And the second was was second one was just Red Riding Hood. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But I, I the most I enjoy the Red Card Katarina. You know, because if you play League of Legends, it's, it's just so okay. interesting to turn into the character that you love to play with, and then you are the character. Then. So Kata is your favorite character. It. She was my first uh, character that I played yeah. with, so that's why she's kind of deep to my heart. <laughs> Yeah, mine's, I mine's Riven, by the way. Yeah, I love Ribbon as well. And I saw such a brilliant <laughs> cosplay. There were two actually Ribbons. Yeah, yeah. I saw like... the green one, and the redeemed Ribbon. Yes. And the mm -hmm. Jamie's Ribbon. Yeah, exactly. Both were cool. Really Jamie's amazing. Jamie's Ribbon, uh, her sword was extremely heavy. Oh, the big one. The big one yeah. was terrifically heavy. Yes, exactly. She was walking, like holding it up straight most of the time because that was yeah. the only way to keep it balanced. Yeah, you need to like have big <laughs> muscles and <laughs> biceps to hold it even. Yeah, um, yeah. but I, I do plan in, in the future to make like some more professional costumes. Yeah, I don't know. I would love to go next year to Unicon as some cosplay that I as made. A, as a performer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But really? I wouldn't. No, no, no. I would not go on the stage. I'm, I'm, okay. I have a paranoia. I'm, I'm super afraid of the stage. That's, that's weird. That's Come weird. You're a Twitcher. You're a yeah, Twitcher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you know, but that's the crowd. But that's the thing. Difference. I'm never in the crowd. I'm ah, never on the stage. I'm always okay. in my comfortable room. You know, ah, in front of my screen. Okay. Yeah. You know, and, and I feel, you know, With comfy. Yeah, and when I need, when I need to go on the stage, I'm all like shaking and and I cannot say anything. 
So that's why I was super afraid uh, to go on the stage at Unicorn. And I was like telling to them, don't give me the mic, don't give it to me. I'm <laughs> not gonna. But you did really well. Like, no, but I, you know, I think the moment it is, it's all the build up in Cemento. You say well, like, yeah. oh, it's gonna be so scary, but yeah. then you go out and you don't. They were like blinding me. I didn't even see yeah. a single yeah, person. So yeah. Thank but God. Just I think something. that's one of the reasons why they have those lights there. Yeah. So you're so in the, awesome. the crowd, yeah. you're like, yeah. you go in, you're like, okay, there's yeah, yeah, some the stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. I should but but then, it's, then there's that thought that you know there are like thousands of eyes looking at you. I don't know. Yeah, it's scary. Rows, it's <laughs> no, okay, hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Millions okay. just. Well, you did mention the red, uh, red little, well, little oh. red riding hood. Yes. And I instantly imagined all three of you. In you're the little red riding hood. He's the big bad wolf. wolf. <laughs> well, and sorry, but you're the grandma. And someone <laughs> has to be the grandma. Or, okay, mother. Okay. or mother. Actually, mother. yeah. <laughs> and we, we can switch. Like, yeah. I, I can be the red. Uh, and I can be the grandma yeah, or mother. Yeah. <laughs> and then you <laughs> have like a co-op. Oh, yeah. Uh, the hunt. Oh, yeah, the hunter. You have a co-op performance then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 In the forest. We <laughs> were doing the outdoor stream. I don't know why we did not do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> Well, Next time, jo jo jokes aside, that's a great idea for three of you if you hang out very often, just making something fun yeah. from one franchise, etc. Yeah. I would definitely appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. It's too cliche. Like my my skeptic. I, I need You're something crazy. <laughs> uh, can, I, can, I, can I cosplay cookies? That, that <laughs> right, you, you can bring my basket. basket. Yeah. 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 Then I mean, yes. Perfect. Better than a grandma. Yeah, but will you be able to carry me? <laughs> I will. I will. I will try. I will go to gym a lot more, <laughs> and I think I will. I will be, able be just to... rolling cookies <laughs> after you. Exactly. Okay, so uh, sadly from you, we already heard about cosplay on our panel, but with you, I would definitely would like to begin our next topic about the Oculus Rift. So okay. on Unicorn, yeah. So I'm you didn't. I bet you didn't hear. You have to tell about your cosplay experience. Uh, oh, I, I don't know if I told that on the panel, but you I didn't. haven't. Oh, okay. But yes. I have cosplayed oh. Miss Cookies on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I think I saw the images of really you with long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That explains so much. And, the and at the same thing? time, there's so many In questions. The yeah, 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 I had everything. I like made my room like like Sandra's room and. Like the layout of the stream was. Did you also go like <laughs> with a little happy cloud right here? I, I did some. I, yeah, I was trying to draw someone, but it didn't work out well. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite okay. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get good. You gotta get drawing. Yeah. 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 Still, but yeah. Uh, you basically guys were right next to the Dream Sim, the Oculus Rift, yeah. and. Yes. What can you tell us about? What do you know about the Oculus Rift? Have you like followed the the trend lately with the uh, VR? Which is kind of really setting in, and it was basically like releasing, I think, this year actually, at the end of it. The Rift itself. The Rift itself, the, the Samsung. It. Yeah, yeah, the, the consumer users. version. Because right now there's a race going on with oh, HTC, exactly. Steam, who are making uh, their own uh, version of the uh, basically VR set, mm -hmm. and the Oculus Rift. They're kind of pushing it to, to release now because they were. They were at the beginning the first ones, and right now they they have a lot of competitors, and it's it's a race who's first. Um, as 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 the trend goes at the moment, uh, it is quite popular amongst Twitch streamers. Yeah, just just to, to show what you're doing with mm. with, yeah. with this article. Yeah, I had in mind. It's, yeah. it's some, some 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 funny con content over there from from my my favorite streamers that mm. I watched. So so you should just think yeah. think uh, of it. Uh, how are they doing? Do they still have the face cam? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the silliest thing because he just <laughs> like the around 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 around. Around. Yeah. 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 and everything. So yeah, yeah, what do you think? Uh, I think it's a really great path where the game industry is going. It's yeah. like the next big step. Yeah. And so you're uh, a believer in VR. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Like. Oh, it will change completely. I think after like 20 years, everybody will laugh about Oculus Rift and how silly everybody looked and like mm. yeah. their heads around and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I would I would be happy to try it out on my streams and <laughs> such. But so I have never had a chance to try it out. And at Unicon, there was always lines of people because everybody is interested. So we didn't even, had a time even before the event opened. Yes. Yeah. There the was staff. a line from yeah. organizers. Yes, the staff. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Exactly. And there was a lot of Yeah, even the staff was constantly yeah. in lines just waiting to check it out. Yeah, exactly. So really you had no chance to, to check it out? Never checked it out. I like now you can build your own Oculus rip for your phones. <laughs> and oh. you can have some game uh, games boards. on your yeah, iPhone yeah. for example. That's, and that's you can cool. play that, yeah, from cover. So yeah, that's I have to try that actually. Mm -hmm. And that's Samsung. the Samsung version. Oh, they're in a cooperation with uh, the Oculus people. And basically, they just make uh, the same thing with the lenses and everything. But, but you have to put your one? front. Yeah, the big you one. Still but you have to put your phone in. in. Oh. It's not that you, you just sell. print it out and, and, yeah. and, and, and gather it. That's yeah. the cardboard version. But there's yeah. a, uh, there will be a consumer version, which is like, cool. you know, like real technology. Consumer cardboard version? <laughs> 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 consumer cardboard version. You can get it on eBay for like five bucks, I think, the cardboard yeah, version. It's yeah, it's expensive. It's basically just the lenses. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, cool. Well, I haven't oh, yeah. tried it. I wanted to. I actually went to stand in that long line before yeah. the Unicon opened. Like, it was like <laughs> 11 o'clock, I think, you know, because I said... That's my, a place. Yeah, I know. All my setup was done, you know. I was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to go there and stand in the line. But I was like, standing there, standing for like 15 minutes. And I see that the same person is still playing. And I have like three more people in the line. I was like, okay, you know, this is GG. I'm not going to stand anymore. And then I just went away. But... I don't know, I'm really interested in it. I, I, I think if, if I would stream it, I would look super silly, you know, looking all around. I, I don't know, maybe I should like turn off the web camera when I'm gonna stream it. Or maybe not, you know, actually it's gonna make my stream even more interesting that I'm like silly and all of that, but yeah. Do you consider yourself, uh, yourself really like streaming it? Like with the yeah, I would really? love to, because I, I think viewers would love to yeah. see well, it. Because it's we'll interesting, be, we'll it's something, thing. Yeah, it's it's something different. Yeah. It is fresh. And yeah, it's exactly. Cool. It's I mean, can you imagine playing horror games? Are any of you like really into horror games? But scary. With yeah. Oculus Rift card it's games? No. Horror. Not a horror oh, game. Oh, I thought card I games. No, no. Card, card games. Horror, the <laughs> Oculus Rift. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would bring it in a new level, kind of. I think. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like the reactions. I mean, mm -hmm. have you seen any YouTube uh, people yeah, playing this? Because there's a ton of them. There's a ton of them who will play the like some some legitimate horror games. Horror games. I think horror games is the genre for Oculus Rift to go. Like yeah. Exactly, I think that's their time. biggest the selling yeah. point at the, uh, at the moment. Of course, all the fantasy worlds. Only we need more, more good horror games. Yeah, we just need more yeah. good horror games, exactly. Yeah. Which is, which is a different. hole in a business, I think. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. just because we played everything and we're just always hungry for a uh, horror game. It's a perfect streamers. content for streamers. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, viewers love to see us scared and screaming. Exactly, and they want to see emotion, right? Yeah. People, mm -hmm. like, yeah. people like to see people suffer. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. When the Hotline Miami came out, the second one, there was a lot of streams of it, and people were just happy seeing people go like, "What?" Yeah. Or failures and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's a hard game. Yeah. By the way, guys, did you uh, on the press conference before you E3, me and 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 Spur did watch that? Uh, they did announce uh, some 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 interesting features that I well reserved to talk about, but I want to 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 know your opinion on that. So basically, uh, their new feature is that you use your Oculus Rift to simulate a room where you can watch something or do something with your friends. So making it a full simulation, for example, watching a TV or, or a movie together, but you're not physically together, you're, 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 you're using this, this Oculus. Wait, so he can be at his home yeah. doing that yeah. and yeah. I can be oh, so together? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, of course, I see I see a hand of Facebook over here. Yeah, of because course. as it was acquired by Facebook. But what do you think about that? Would you use it, and would it be fun to 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 I don't know watch watch a series together? I think it's a, a great thing for like if you have friends uh, abroad, in other countries. Abroad, yeah. 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 But yeah. if you have the friends somewhere like close, close to you, yeah. I think it would cut off the socializing thing. Yeah. Maybe everybody would just. Yeah. It's sit in their houses and it's be too lazy to go out. MMOs did that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the next big thing that you what, if, what if two guys in the same room with Oculus Rift play something like Hearthstone with a virtual simulation? Yeah, on with the, with the animation, oh, etc. On the table. Oh, but to that, that I really would add because uh, he didn't mention 
at the press conference, they for the first time uh, announced that they will also be including, well, with a separate uh, packaging, they will also be including their own controllers, controllers mm -hmm. which work almost exactly like your hands. Basically, they have trigger, uh, trigger buttons uh, yeah. that simulate your movement. And they uh, finally will have the, the thing, which we felt, in, at least in, with Dragon and Oculus Rift, uh, you will finally be able to move the hands around. Because yeah. when oh, I tried Oculus cool. Rift at the uh, Unicon, you really do feel the connection with the p person you are looking at, and but you when you're like, like doing this and not seeing the hands moving with it, and you're like, "There's a guy right here, and I want to pinch him," mm -hmm. and yeah. nothing's happening. This the hands right here. Your your body, <laughs> not, not your body, but your brain just yeah. has a malfunction. It's like we're supposed to do this, but nothing is happening. Exactly. Why? Yeah. yeah. And, and they will have these. The, the these new controllers yeah. actually uh, track gestures, and for example, if you, you have flip a, a gun. Hands. And you should push a trigger, you just push the trigger to yeah. shoot, yeah. for example. And yeah. finally, you'll be able to cover your face in the car again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the most important speech. Yes. Oh, that is, cool. that is awesome. The only thing that I'm concerned about, like Oculus Rift, the concepts are amazing, but when I was trying out it on, on DreamHack, I don't know, maybe because it was a prototype, but it felt like the graphics of the game was like, back from 90s so it's a massive Lacking throwback so there, yeah there were a lot of pixels the resolution was not great so it will keep us off from don't get me wrong i'm a fan of a, of a like a old school graphics i love them uh, but like we're kind of used to we're talking about More a real life graphics. like yeah. this complete immersion and the graphics really have to catch up if they're gonna be the way the same yeah, then it, yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's the thing you're talking it's, about it's, sitting on a college. It's, it's it's not gonna really. One of the developers, well, one of the guys at Unicon said that the one Oculus Rift we had there is something like a developer's version. Mm -hmm. It's and DK2, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All of them two. are developers, they are not. It's not even Crescent Bay, which has a, a much higher resolution mm -hmm. screen. Yeah. What so is the resolution? They say that it will be better. It yeah. was 720, I think, for the Crescent Bay. But they were going to make a 1080p for the I'm on the board with, with the reality, because if it's virtual reality where you can, oh my god, yeah, yeah, I should yeah. feel real, and mm -hmm. uh, if I see pixels, if I see bad textures, I won't feel immersed in that, yeah, and yeah. that's the main problem. I think, because Otto's Rift point is to get you immersed, that's yeah, the thing. Exactly. So yeah. we have to have those perfect graphics, especially since we already have them on... If you, if yeah, you get the game, huge LCD, yeah, 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 you get blown yeah. away, you're already immersed without Oculus Rift, so... If that yeah, that's why on the Dream Sim, the, the uh, 180 screen with, with, uh, with the seat was a better one. That one I did test on close beta tests. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was fun. And yet I felt I, I didn't feel nauseous because I feel that I will get nauseous with Oculus Rift. I'm not, not that, that adapted to this yeah. motion. Yeah. And then I had my fun and I think that the most important part are the peripherals, not the Oculus Rift itself. And the immersion goes from the seat when you are mm -hmm. driving, from yeah. the, the gestures yeah. and the controllers that yeah. you're using. Because right now, uh, for example, in all other games, with exception of the these, these Sims, uh, you just use a controller and Oculus Rift and you will never feel immersed 100% yeah. with an ordinary controller and with a plug in just a monitor on your face. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So thanks for that. Let's let's keep moving on. Um, so next we could get to know you guys a little bit more. So I know each of you have your own little thing that you can, which kind of separates you from from other people, right? Especially from uh, from yourselves as well. So let's start with you, Miss Cookies. Basically, I understand you kind of incorporate in your own streams art. Yeah. So can you tell us more about that? A little. I started as a League of Legends streamer just for fun playing. Um, I've, I've been streaming for about like eight months, and then uh, no, it actually I was streaming let's say for half a year just as a player. I was uh, first playing like Skyrim and Half Life, mm -hmm. a lot of things. Then I settled with a League of Legends, and I really grew my community. It was a lot of fun. And then at one point, because I have an artist background, I always worked as an artist and designer in the first place. So, and and gaming was my hobby always. Um, then I started. How can I bring this together? Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw some streamers, especially in particular Shannon Nina. I got inspired a lot uh, for donations or like at some points for subscribers. She would sometimes sing and perform uh, some songs on her channel. And I was like, 
oh, that's really cool. Like, I have this artistic this stuff, yeah, so yeah. how could I introduce that? That would really make me different because, you know, when you're streaming, you have to stand out as a personality. Yeah. You, like, I choose to be as open as possible with my personality. So I came up with this idea that I would draw at the end of each stream session. I would pick a random viewer and give them a little spotlight and draw them because I make them feel feel special. Exactly. I was always about like giving, you know, like putting a viewer in a spotlight because yeah. we owe everything to them. We exactly. do this just because they make time to come and watch us. So that was my kind of way of saying thank you. So it, I, I kept on doing that for another eight months or something. Over last year, I produced close to 500 portraits, oh, which wow. is crazy. Like, that's, that's, that's and we keep on doing that. It, people love it. it. It made me special because no one was doing the artistic stuff at a time. So I was getting a lot of kind of positive feedback and I kept on doing that. And at the end of December, uh, after gaming with League of Legends, the community changed a lot. Uh, the the kind of like the esports stepped in and LCS is like every week nowadays yeah. <laughs> and it, it's really hard to keep up with your good plays uh, and you know I was not feeling good because I was I was not like professional player yeah, and yeah. you should spend more time <laughs> than you could ever have yeah. to yeah. train and I was and actually getting coached skills. and trained I really was oh, wow. motivated to get better but you know, my, some viewers that knew would come in, they already are used to good plays and they would go like, hey, you're only like silver, like, or you're only gold. Like, yeah, I mean, that's that's, just, that's <laughs> the pain of the Twitch. Yeah, I was that. like, man, come on, I, I want to exactly. feel great about what I'm doing, and I wasn't. So the only good thing that I'm confident in was art. It was really kind of like my specialty. And no one, again, was doing, there were a few artists, but nothing nothing really was going on in that field and yeah twitch was just opening the doors to some new content aside from gaming yeah and i was like so sick of league of legends like at one night and i was like you know guys we're we gonna we're gonna do something else tonight i'm gonna paint timo it was out of the blue <laughs> so i was i did this paint. spontaneous thing yeah absolutely funny. oil painting of timo uh, and uh, i was really impressed uh, by the you know the Okay. The, the fact the fact that I just uh, created something after after just a, a regular streaming session and it was a totally different feeling and finally people are not just like screaming at me like yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes they are. It's buying from someone else. You actually found your own thing. Yeah, I found my own from. thing and people. That's great. My channel grew by hundred percent from that point and. Like I got, I am now associated mm -hmm. with uh, artists on Twitch or that girl that draws, that girl that paints, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. I really kind of found my niche, and yeah, uh, I kept on developing it. And now I have my art school and like some other projects. And, yeah, that's great. So carry on. Yeah, so well, um, I understand you're with the uh, CS:GO. Yes, more esports, e CS:GO. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, my stream is mainly CSGO because I have always, always, always loved first person shooters. Yeah. When I was around 10 to 11, I think it, I was 11 and, or 12, I don't remember, yeah. I found out Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I think it was, yeah. and I absolutely loved it. I played it every single day after school all the time. And then at school, one of my classmates. I had, she I had a different experience with Modern Warfare too. Yeah. yeah. Really? I, I really loved it. I was loved really it. bad at it, and I was like. Yeah, well, I was pretty bad <laughs> as well. It's the thing is, I was more used to more tactical shooters where you um. have to be careful when you like peek the corner. Yeah, and Counter stuff. Strike. Or Counter Strike, Battlefield, games okay. you know, like those. Yeah. But, but there, there you have to rush it. Yes. You have to always be on the move. Yes. If you're not, you're just getting shot from mm -hmm. the back all the time. Exactly, exactly. And that's what happened to me. Yeah. I was so happy, like, oh, finally, a five kill streak. I will get the care package and it gets yeah. stolen. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then some classmate that was also a girl uh, suggested me, you know, Laura, you can try Counter Strike 1.6. It's really cool, you know? I was like, nah, you know, usually. All, all the kids thought those who play CS they are kind of noobs, geeks, it's, you know. It's never gonna be popular. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah, yeah. you know. And I'm then, so yeah, and then one day I kind of tried out. I did not understand what to do there, and it was yeah. so much harder than Call of Duty. I felt like a noob 
Because at yeah, that point, yeah. I felt kind of good <laughs> as a Call of Duty player, but as a Counter Strike player, I was such a noob. I could not get a single kill, and I thought maybe something is wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah, something wrong is, is wrong with it's my game. The game's fault. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, and I was like, oh, this is GG. And but you now I somehow kept playing, and um, the skill ceiling is pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, it took me really, I think, a year and a half to get at least kind of yeah, decent, you know, <laughs> to get at least few kills and not be all the time at the bottom. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, and then and then and then and then I kind and then kind of popularity of one point six kind of went down and down and then they cancelled it from all the tournaments ESL and all kind oh, of pro yeah. level. Yeah. And you know because the CS:GO was out, so they switched it to CS:GO. And then I started kind of streaming, but mm -hmm. I started stream with League of Legends and I was streaming it for half a year. And then I understood that I'm not going to get better at League of Legends. I could not get even to the level 30 to get to the bronze level. Okay. Yeah, I stopped, I think, at I level just, 27. Uh, I just play around all the time. Yeah. I, I yeah. find it more fun. Yeah, yeah. Not, mm, not like the ranked games. Yeah. And, uh, Especially in like the ranked games yeah. where everyone's like, it's, oh, what are you cancer. doing? It's Yes, yes. It's like, it's like, normal <laughs> games nowadays. <laughs> in the games with bots, you would get like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> League of Legends <laughs> ain't fun bots. anymore. Yeah. 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 Exactly. The thing is, it's like I saw this one screenshot of a guy, like a Chinese guy, he's playing League of Legends. There's yeah. an earthquake going on, there's trouble on his keyboard, oh, and he's oh like typing, there's an earthquake! Next comment after him, if you quit, I will report you. Oh, exactly. <laughs> like, they are cold blooded, okay. really. Yeah. They are. Serious people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so starting from last year's summer, I somebody, I think, gifted me CSGO in the Steam, on the Steam. And so I started streaming CSGO and kind of my love kind of grew back again because I remembered the 1.6 times and it was really nostalgic because it was kind of 1.6 but in a new graphics. Yeah, the case opening. Oh, and the case opening is whole another story because I'm just oh. addicted. I wish that the keys would be a lot cheaper. Just like TF2 has, right, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Same thing. They have boxes on the yeah. <laughs> oh, my, yeah, exactly. What also. to do with all those boxes? Yeah. Well, yeah, and since then, CSGO has been my main game that I stream, because I love, love, love it. And right now, I want to kind of grow a bit more Latvian, Baltic scene a bit more. Because yeah. there is a Team Skills LV, I think, which is kind of more, pro, you know, higher level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of want to plan to do a tournament CSGO, actually here. I would love to do it. At Game Station. Yes, at Game idea. Station. But it's... I only plan it at only, um, September, only October. Of for yeah. Place. yeah, of course. Oh. But there's a lot of planning, you know, sponsors, getting sponsors. The guys from here, actually, no, no guys from from Skills and. Uh, oh, I don't I know. That's good. Yeah, but there there's a lot of planning and everything. But I would yeah. love to do, kind of do it. Well, that's cool. Fa also found your own thing. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, exactly, that's good. exactly. So Biz Boney, how about so, you? Yeah. About me, um, the talk I show never the entertainer. Am I right? I never, yeah, I never got into like esports and really competitive gaming. Yeah. I always play video games just to have fun, yeah, and enjoy course. time, yeah. and that's how I started off my stream. I wanted only like if I have fun, the others will have fun as well. So that was my main goal. To everybody was just in a big entertainment box, and yeah, it was just yeah a lot of fun. Of course, a lot of people are. Like talking about, oh my god, you're so bad at this game, you're so bad at this <laughs> game. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really, I would say I'm really, really bad at video games in general, but I enjoy playing them, like, as far as I can get somewhere. Um, so, yeah, I really want to start retro games, right? What? Retro? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I really love PlayStation 1 time games, so I have been started starting to do that more often and people seem to enjoy it really much because yeah, it's, it's awesome. a really nostalgic like topic and yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. loves it. Um, so yeah, now I want to turn my stream into like a gaming talk show once a week. Uh, I'm planning to do like a, a show where I interview some game developers, new game developers. What was really interesting in Unicon that there were some game developers that I did not know about yeah, yeah, having yeah. Latvia yeah. and yeah. Such content Anything about, about, like, about the, what they made in Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game uh, they're making. yeah. They made uh, a water pipe uh, kind of a controller, a wireless controller. Yeah. And they made a two-dimensional game, and you can like you can finish it with one button. You just need to click one button, and that's it. And you can complete <laughs> the whole game. 
And okay. yeah, that was really interesting and something completely new. And I was impressed that in Latvia somebody is doing something like that. Yeah. It was cool. So I want to like, yeah, put them in the spotlight maybe. So bring out the word maybe for some indie game developers. You mentioned them on the stream or? Yeah, they, yeah, they showed that on my stream. I played the oh, game cool, on the stream. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. So that was cool. Well, so we should do an effort. I really enjoy indie development, so... Yeah, so. me too. No. Yeah, yeah. Did you check out the game in much places? No, I didn't have that type of game. It was more just about that. For fun, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did you guys get, get any chance to check out the developers as well? Yeah, I saw the Latch Places game. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the one with the yeah, controller. That's the one yeah, that's Very Latvian, isn't it? Yeah, it is Latvian. <laughs> Inspired by the mythology of the... Place. I also, actually, I've learned about that game before the Unicon. I've seen it on the internet, like at their homepage. Uh, some saw some of the developers on YouTube. Yeah, they're they're, they're trying <laughs> to make a good game. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, and there were some other games which I did not quite understand that much because I was just breezing through. So you didn't have that much time to yeah, check out yeah. anything? Yeah. 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 I saw a lot, of, a lot of mobile games uh, being developed. Yeah, yeah, I always yeah. this one with uh, like the... How was that game? Drafty Runner or Tunnel Runner? Uh, there yeah. is that popular game. <laughs> Tempo yeah. Runner. The Tempo one that kind of looks yeah. like Omnia, so you kind of have to yeah. do... Uh, uh, basically, basically you have three lanes. As I remember, three or four maybe. Three and lanes and upper lanes as well. Yes, mm -hmm. and upper lanes. And you just collect points and avoid obstacles like that. But you have to realize that there's three bottom lanes and three top lanes. Mm -hmm. so and the guy for some reason blocked it. It was a great idea to mm -hmm. demo the hardest difficulty. Like, <laughs> it, yeah. it's super hard. They yeah. have tried to get a difficulty. They're available. He also really? mentioned, yeah, he also mentioned that this is not the latest version. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They were a bit late with the Unicom, but they managed mm -hmm. to bring this one. That's and there was God mode enabled. Of course. Because oh, <laughs> yeah. people would not get like, oh, I need to get good and so <laughs> bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, uh, to kind of start wrapping up, because the fire is kind of starting to go out, um, mm -hmm. what do you think about WinterCon, which will quite possibly, I'm pretty sure, it will be this, yeah, yes. this, this, yes. uh, yeah. this winter, yes, so and well. UniCon 2016? Because <laughs> basically, you have perhaps some ideas, some, some things you want to see. Mm, I can. I'm. I'm not sure about WinterCon. Definitely, I'm gonna be at the event. But to yeah. what part are we gonna play there is unknown to us yet. Yeah. But definitely, there is already a lot of plans going on for Unicorn 16, and uh, oh. the Twitch uh, hopefully will <coughs> um, appear again. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna definitely be there, and the, awesome. the Twitch uh, itself. I mean, uh, like the official, yeah, yeah, the official the rep representatives. You know, yeah, we, we're. Oh. They definitely are interested to, to help us to realize more of these. Oh, and we actually course, had yeah. for our booth, we had really cool ideas, yeah. uh, but yeah. we had to cancel them because there was not enough time for preparation. That was definitely going to be happening, so it's going to be like separate uh, Twitch stream on the Unicorn channel, and we'll plan mm -hmm. some activities going on. So there's going to be action and entertainment, awesome. and uh, it's going to be at least two times a year of a booth. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we also want to get uh, more Latin streamers in because uh, yes. there we, we know at least about two really good Latin streamers. Really? Yeah, that are like the in the shadows. We will try to kind of bring them out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah bring them out in the light. Introduce them because there is two, three more Latin streamers, decent ones. So yeah, that's that cool. Way. Yeah. Yeah, and you guys, yeah. just in general, I think we would love to see more gaming related things yes. uh, yeah, at Unicon. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, why not to bring that with us together, with, like with Twitch and streaming? Yeah. We could yeah. totally try to do that. Play some co op games, maybe, even with some people. Yeah, yeah why exactly. not? I think, yeah. 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 Bring a console or something. Yeah, make some you? little tournaments. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't know, I'm really excited for Unicon 2016 because. Any, any more you want to see off? Perhaps? Oh, more God. tournaments, for example. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm all like about the tournaments. Or you know, because this, awesome. yeah, this year there was a Hearthstone tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I would love to come, but uh, it's going to be hard to make because for CSGO you have to have 10 computers, 5 versus yeah, 5. That's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, uh, you, you, cannot, you cannot use it for only CSGO. For League of Legends, Dota, etc. Yeah. Hey campers, Purploid here. 
thank you for watching the sixth episode of Geek Camp Podcast. And a big thanks goes out to our special guests of this episode, Ms. Boney, Ms. Cookies, and the Goat. Another big thank you goes out to Game Station for allowing us to record this special episode in their awesome bar. You can check them out on their Facebook page, which will be in the description below. You can find the links to our guests in the description below as well. And don't forget to check out our website, geekcamp.lv, for more Geek Camp. Next episode will also be a special one as we will be rebranding, so make sure to check it out. So please, like, comment and subscribe to our Geek Camp channel and don't forget to put out the fire.